Hey y'all, so I just wanted to make a video here to go over compound inequalities, which I know you've already solved some of them, so I didn't want to take too much of your time. So I already have worked through um, numbers four, five, and six. I've solved them already and I've graphed them. Um, so if you want to pause the video and solve them on your own just to check them against mine, you could do that. But number five, the second one here is kind of odd and I definitely wanted to talk about number seven just to make sure you know how to solve that problem. So up here in number four, um, I got x is less than five or x is greater than or equal to 10. So that one fol follows our pattern here. I have five, my five and my 10, open, close circle, I'm shading out. Okay, pretty basic. Now the second one, number five. When I solve my inequalities, I get x is less than negative three or x is less than eight. Now this one's weird because it's going in the same direction the signs are, and typically with an or inequality, you're shading above one, one number, one answer, and below the other, but these are both less than. So for this example, you just pick whatever the higher number is and you're just shading below eight because it could be less than negative three or less than eight. So it's fine, I'll just take the eight, I'm shading below and, and that was how, that's how you would shade the answer to that inequality. So that's an anomaly, that's a weird one that doesn't usually um, get shaded like that when you're solving an or inequality. I think I've seen a question like this on pop up on Study Island before, so I just wanted to go over that one. Uh, number six is an and inequality. My answers are x is greater than or equal to negative four and less than five. So there's my graph. Now it says here, write your answer in compact form. So compact form is when you're just writing as one inequality. And when you do that, you take your smallest number like from your two answers, and that goes on the left. So I have negative four, and I'm gonna take the sign at less than or equal to x, which is less than five, and that's in compact form. So compact form usually match, well, always matches the graph in the sense that like your smallest number is on the left and your bigger number is on the right, and your symbols are always less than or less than or equal to. That's the standard way of writing that in compact form. You can only write your answers in compact form when you have an and inequality. Okay, so then when we get to number seven here, the problem is given in compact form. Okay, so there are a couple different ways you can go about solving this. Um, I typically tell students just to leave it as it is and solve for your variable in the middle. So you can think of it as like you've got three sections here that you're working with and whatever operation you do in the center you have to do on both sides or all three sections as well. So when I subtract one, I'm gonna do that three times. And then when I divide by three, I'm gonna do that three times. So I get one is less than X is less than nine. So then when you go to shade that, got my uh, one and my nine. They're both open circles and I'm just shading between. So that's how you would solve that problem and it's your answer is already in compact form. So you don't have to worry about converting it to compact form. All right, now I also have one more example I wanna go over that I just wrote down here on the back of this page. This is actually number um, 14 on the purple compound inequalities worksheet that you had gotten uh, last week, I just wanted to do one example here where there was something happening outside of the bars, these absolute value bars. So to start this problem, I would just divide both sides of my inequality by negative two. You can never distribute through absolute value bars, so this is how I'm gonna get rid of this. So this will cancel out and I'll just have absolute value of one plus two X. Now I have to flip my sign less than or equal to three. Now at this point, you can just split up your inequality. So one plus two X less than or equal to three and one plus two X greater than or equal to negative three. So this sign right here is less than or equal to making this an and inequality. So then you would just solve for X 
and um, graph and shade your answer. So that's it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're starting to enjoy math as much as I do. Bye.